okay so uh, this DLL I just have to put it in unity so okay so I'm gonna open unity here unity hub uh, okay so this is a simple project that I made previously just to test so I'm just gonna open it this is unity version uh, version to to 2017 2017 okay so I just opened opened up unity here and then okay so you just create some object here I'm gonna do it again so just you can see I'm gonna remove this gonna delete this all right so you just create an empty game object and then you create a a script here uh, like test DLL okay create an add so just gonna open this up in Visual Studio I'm gonna keep using the latest .NET framework okay so here uh, we have the 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 script the c-sharp script uh, we have to import the DLL here so okay first things first I'm gonna put open up this the plugins folder like if, if you don't have a plugins folder you have to create with uh, exactly this name right because unity and gets the plugins from def uh, from this default path uh, with this name. So okay, so I'm gonna show in Explorer to open up this the folder. So here I already have it, but I'll just copy the new one so you can see. Uh, okay, so math library test. Gonna copy it here. So I have here the the DLL in Unity right uh, it compiled it there uh, th there didn't throw any error er errors uh, it didn't throw any errors so okay um, so if you go back to the Microsoft tutorial here it shows how to create an app that uses DLL it's just not an app in C sharp so we just have to convert the code to C to C sharp to use it in unity right so here it's what it does. It just calls uh, Fibonacci in it with one and one, and then it does a do while loop, uh, printing the index and the current value of Fibonacci until it can generate a, a new Fibonacci number, and then it prints Fibonacci sequence values fit in an uh, 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 here's the amount, like for for instance uh, fifty. Fibonacci se uh, sequence values fit in an assigned 64-bit int integer, so that's what it's doing. So just copy this here. Uh, go back to the code. Paste here. Okay, so I don't have these functions. Uh, okay, f I'll just fix this quickly debug.log um, plus this plus Fibonacci current close uh, here's the same thing debug.log Fibonacci index plus one on sign integer okay remove this here all right so now you just have to import the functions you have in in cpp okay so in order to use uh, native code you have to use this uh, runtime interrupt services it's what uh, allows you to work with uh, unmanaged 
uh, C, uh, native uh, C++ code in inside the C# -sharp code. So here I'll, I'll put this uh, DLL import from math library, which is a uh, math library test actually, which is the name which is the name of my uh, DLL. And this I'll just declare it like this: uh, public static extern void Fibonacci init. Uh, U long A, U long B. Okay, so this is a translation of the function signature from our, our C++ project. So here, if you go back to my library test, uh, you have the signature. It's a void uh, Fibonacci init const and sign long long A, const and sign long long B. So you you do you don't have a long long in C sharp, but you have uh, U long, which is an unsigned long, so it's the closest thing. You just use th this, that, all right. Uh, so so just do the other functions, uh, the LL import, my library text, uh, test, public static extern. Okay, since since it's a bool, I'll just go Okay, so we're doing Fibonacci current, so unsigned uh, long long it just be a U long. Fibonacci current, okay, so Fibonacci next, which is a bow, so you just do public static extern bow Fibonacci next, the LL import. So I did init current next. Let me see if it's missing something. Init current next. Okay, Fibonacci index, which is just an assign. I'll just use a U long. Index. Alright, so now we imported everything. Uh, the functions should be available in the code now right so now just run and see if it works let's see here we have test dll it's on the start script so it should run fibonacci init and then it should print the index along with the current value of the value of the fibonacci sequence and it should run next 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 until this function uh, Fibonacci next returns uh, here if you see the implementation uh, Fibonacci next uh, if it's overflow the the number of bits it can uh, the, the max number a uh, long can re uh, represent it will ret return false if it's overflow. So while it's not overflown, we do the loop, and when it's overflown, it just goes along and prints. Uh, this is the last index we could uh, we could generate a Fibonacci uh, value for uh, without overflowing. So just let's check this in Unity. Just just click play. And see the console. So here you have the output. Seems it worked. Just have a really long Fibonacci numbers until 92. Then it, when it it tries to generate the 90, the number 93, it just 
uh, overflows the 64 bits number. It's not an integer, this is a long actually. And it tells you it overflow. So that's it. So basically, you learn how to add a, a DLL in Unity and use it and use the result and print it in the console. Alright, folks, thank you.